Aha, uh -huh. so I just got back from farming up some sand and this whole strip for our sheep farm was completely dirt. Uh, two of the blocks over here just <laughs> returned back to grass, but I thought that was kind of interesting. So I was pretty far away. I was, we look at this north map, I was up here. Yeah, so actually I was kind of off the map. Uh, I was looking at this desert area. I was kind of as far away as I could go. And yeah, I was farming up some sand. So some things that I've done uh, off camera here is I've gone back to the end. And in the end, I found a bunch of end cities. And in those end cities, I found a bunch of shulkers. So I made a whole lot of shulker boxes and I filled up every single spot in my ender chest full of a shulker box. So now we have 27 times 27 storage space in our ender chest, which is crazy. That's really, really good. So. Yeah, I just went and I farmed up a whole bunch of sand here, and then I farmed up some sand here, and then that's all the sand I collected, not a whole lot. Um, and then I was, what was I doing? I went over to the mob farm to go repair our shovel because this thing was about half durability or so, right? Um, yeah, and I came back here and I saw that the whole thing was dirt, and that seems a little weird. But anyway, uh, our sheep farm seems to be working pretty well. Yes, we have collected quite a lot of wool. Now this thing was running while I was doing some other off-camera stuff around here. How's the shears doing? Okay, so it hasn't even touched these three new ones that I put in there, but it has used a lot of durability on the other ones that are in there. Uh, do we on? We do have silk touch here. I'm gonna pick this back up. Yeah. So off-camera here, I've been doing some exploration. Uh, if we look right over here, right here. <laughs> Yeah, not too far away, just like on the other side of our base, pretty much. Uh, we have a big cave, and as you can see down there, there's planks. Yeah, this cave right here has a whole bunch of mine shafts going on, and I spent a lot of time. Let's actually come down here. I spent a lot of time going through this, exploring, um, turning off spawners, collecting iron, collecting gold, diamonds. All sorts of stuff. Yeah, this thing is like pretty extensive here. Whoops. Uh, let's see. See if I don't kill myself. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, uh, I thought I got most of it. Apparently I haven't uh, lit up everything and I haven't explored everywhere. But my goodness, guys, like I was in this thing for probably three to four hours. Like not only is it just the mine shafts, but these mine shafts go off into caves and yeah, there's just resources everywhere. So I was going exploring all these different cave areas, lighting those up, mining all the iron and all of this kind of stuff. Yeah, long, long time spent here collecting resources. But then yeah, I didn't even know uh, actually that there was an opening right behind our base like I just showed you guys. I don't even know where I am right now. Uh, I didn't even know that opening existed. I was lighting this up and then I saw something that looked like uh, sky. I was like, wait, why is there light in here? Yeah, because it opens up to the outside. Whoa, I'm going to kill myself. Oh my goodness, I almost just did. <laughs> yeah, so it does open up right out here to right behind our base. So this whole thing is pretty much under the base, which is kind of cool. Um, there is a trick that you can do that you can uh, see through the world and look at caves still in these newer versions of minecraft so we might go check that out and see how close i got to exploring all of that i haven't i haven't checked this out yet myself uh but yeah let me go ahead and put the sand away i'll put this map up and then we will check that out all right so the way you can do this is just by removing a block in the ground right and then you gotta place a composter here all right and then we need to piston push ourselves down into this block which that's a little tricky but it is doable. So a piece of dirt here, and then we want to place a piston facing down. So we just kind of get under this block, fly underneath it, use our elytra, and then we can place this facing down like so. And then we want to put a lever on this block so we can reach it. So we just get inside our composter here, and then we just do this, and now we can kind of see through the world, which is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, you can see down here into that mine shaft, there is some spots there. It looks like that right there I did not get. Uh, we saw that one walkway that was in the middle of the ravine that I didn't get. Uh, there's some monsters spawning. You can kind of see monsters spawning, but it's not really showing the terrain there. Yeah, the, it kind of works weird the way this... <laughs> Uh, this works now, this x-ray in uh, 1.14. Uh, 
Yeah, so sometimes you can see the blocks, the chunks around, sometimes you can't. I don't know if that has to do with the, um, is that not even an option anymore? In like the older versions, there was a VBOS option, which turned off seeing like chunks that you couldn't see. I guess they removed that. So that's not even an option that we can look at anymore. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, so I guess the best way for me to do it would just be moved to a different location and see if we can see anything else. Yeah, unfortunately, it's kind of hard to really get a big picture of what it is that I explored down here. That is where we came down, and I almost died around this area. So, yeah, we can kind of see into this ravine where all the different mine shafts kind of interconnect here. Uh, you see so there's some zombies there, and it looks like there is a stairwell and, like, maybe another mine shaft area here that I didn't explore. But this thing, like, super, super extensive, guys. Yeah, it's really hard to get these all to show up <laughs> on the screen. But yeah, like I said, I spent probably a good three to four hours exploring and mining and all of this kind of stuff. And it is super good trying to mine with fortune with all the storage space that we have in our ender chest now, thanks to all of our shulker boxes and the fact that we have mending on our fortune pick. Like I, all that time and all the blocks that I went and I mined, yeah, like I didn't have to worry about my pick breaking at all. We were just getting enough experience from our, all the coal, all of the uh, diamonds and uh, lapis and other such things that we were getting. So yeah, it worked out really, really well. So currently we have so many resources. We come in here, we take a look. Uh, so we're up to 16 blocks of diamond plus one. Uh, we have a little over two stacks of iron blocks. Yeah, I came back with almost a full ender chest full of uh, iron ore. A little bit of gold we got, some lapis. So, yeah, all in all, the trip went pretty well. You see we only got 39 blocks of coal, though. And this, and this right here, this the rest of our coal. <laughs> this is my torch supply, pretty much. Uh, so, yeah, keeping a stack of logs on there and a whole lot of coal in case we need those for whatever reason. Uh, but anyway, yeah, keeping a lot of our resources in this ender chest is super, super convenient. So we can just take a whole lot of stuff with us or bring a whole lot of stuff back. So pretty much the main reason why I found that mine shaft is I decided that I wanted to go mine some blocks. We were pretty much out of cobblestone, as we mentioned, I think, last episode. Um, so I ended up with some cobblestone here after that entire trip. Not as much as I was kind of hoping to bring back, but I wasn't going and mining blocks explicitly. Like, I was exploring the mine shafts and mining resources, and these are just the blocks that I ended up with. Uh, I really feel like it's about time that we look at getting ourselves a beacon. I don't know if we have enough blocks in order to activate that beacon. And in fact, what we'd probably end up doing is using this stuff until we can replace all of these blocks with uh, emerald blocks from training villagers. Because, yeah, the emeralds are pretty much useless, except for beacon bases, as far as I can tell. Um, so yeah, what I'd like to do is go to the nether. Actually, let's go back in here. I think we need two more wither skeleton skulls, right? Where, where did I put those wither skeleton skulls? Were they in our nether chest? No. Well, I know we had one. <laughs> I don't know where it is, but I know we have one. Maybe it's in this chest. Yeah, okay. So this is our nether mob chest. So we have one wither skeleton skull. I would like to get two more and see if we can fight a wither boss. I feel like if we can get a beacon going, we can set that up. Uh, we could put four or efficiency five on our picks, and then we should be able to instant mine either regular stone or cobblestone, whatever we want, and that'll make life that much easier. So our next goal for today is to head to the nether and see if we can get ourselves two more wither skeleton skulls. All right, so I have found two different wither skeletons, and both of them did not drop any drops. Uh, this is a pretty big area. And not really seeing much activity for spawning. Looks like that blaze just spawned. And there are blaze spawners around here that I've seen. But yeah, we're not doing very good on getting wither skeletons to spawn at all. I've tried to go to different parts of this uh, fortress and look around. And yeah, not really seeing too much activity. I did see wither skeletons spawn. Actually, I guess there was three of them. Because I saw one spawn, like, right over here. There was one over here with a group of pigmen that I killed. And then one, oh, down here on one of these walkways, probably, like, right there, I think. 
Um, but yeah, like overall, like we're not seeing very many spawns, which is kind of discouraging. Uh, we can't really get the Wither Skeleton Skulls, which is a low drop chance off Wither Skeletons unless Wither Skeletons are spawning. Uh, so I'm trying to think, what would be the best way for us to go about trying to get these things to spawn? Use our Elytra and fly around so we can quickly unload and reload more mobs? That might be what we need to do. So uh, put on the Elytra, fly over this general direction, make sure we don't run into something, right? And then fly back and... All the mobs here should have despawned, a new one should have spawned, which would potentially allow more Wither Skeletons to spawn. That might be that might be the solution that we need to do. So I'm going to go ahead and try that. Uh, let's just fly over here. Hopefully there's nothing in the way. No, looks like we're pretty good. Yeah, over there is our path. Oh, and a bunch of gas spawned. Goodness, okay. Uh... Man, there's like four different gas spawn. What the heck? <laughs> so many. Oh, I was leading the target a little too much. Try that one. No, it still didn't get him. So many gas. Oh, how did that not hit? That looked like it was going to be dead on. Well, okay. Well, I'm not going to really play with the gas. Our whole purpose of doing this is not to fight gas, but to get those mobs to unload and get new ones to reload here. That one gonna get him? There we go. Uh, all right, so let's fly back. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Tried flying and my rocket didn't go off. Is it because I have the bow in my offhand? Maybe. Let's try this. There we go. I don't, I'm not sure. You gotta like right click it as you're falling. Uh, maybe I'm just doing that incorrectly. But anyway, so we should be able to get new mobs to load over there. I know I'm spawning in Pikmin by going this far, but hopefully we're unloading the mobs that were over where I was just a moment to go. And do we have any more luck? Those Pikmin just spawned in. Oh man, lava. Yeah, okay, now I'm right in the lava. <laughs> Couldn't quite jump over it properly. Uh... I'm not really seeing much spawning in here. Yeah, this is too bad. Okay, well, I'm just going to keep playing around with this for a little while. Hopefully flying back and forth will eventually get us to where we need to be. I'm going to see if I can take care of some of these lava sources. Maybe get them to flow down somewhere and not flow all over the place. Yeah, I think that'll be much better. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to continue playing around with this. Hopefully we can get some wither skeletons to spawn, and we'll be right back, guys. Seriously, I've been at this for so long now, guys, and we just got two of them back to back. What? All right, guys, seriously, I had been in the nether, I don't even know now, like two to three hours. And like, there's not a lot of spawnable space for the skeletons to spawn. And like, 
it would be really easy if the top of the fortress wasn't covered by a lot of netherrack like it is but unfortunately it just yeah it's a terrible fortress it's not really good for spawnable spots so this is all the stuff that we ended up getting uh almost well a little over two and a half stacks of coal uh a, over a stack of gunpowder nearly a stack of gas tears how many gas have i killed guys i have killed so many mobs how, where is it gas right here so 59 gas oh my goodness like we killed a couple before but 59 of them how many wither skeletons have i killed wither skeletons 109 to get three skulls wow that's so terrible okay well now we have that uh i'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of this stuff away uh, i need to go make some potions so we can kill the wither boss i brought some fire resist potions with me thinking that would be a good idea for us to have those um but yeah it turned out i didn't really use them at all so yeah not a big deal so what potions do we have over here? I know we had some from before. Uh, so we have some potions, regeneration, strength, slow falling, instant health. Well, we already have a good portion of what we want, huh? I think the only thing that we could use, no, we have strength, regeneration, maybe extra instant healths, maybe? We definitely don't need fire resistance, so I'll put those away. Okay, well, anyway, I'm gonna get my inventory sorted and we'll be right back, guys. Well, I think we're just going to go ahead and fight the Wither Boss down here underground like we do. Uh, just at the end of one of my branch mine tunnels. So it's an area that we're not really going to be doing much with. So yeah, right over here is the end of uh, one of the mines, right? Uh, apparently there's a cave nearby. I'm hearing a witch. So anyway, I think we're just going to go ahead and spawn it in here. It's going to do a big old explosion and then it'll have plenty of room to try and come this way as we are attacking it and doing all these things. Uh, I did go ahead and I made night vision potion because when we are fighting this thing, it's going to be knocking out the torches. It'll just be easier to see it, I believe. Uh, so we got strength, regeneration, instant health, and night vision. Let's go ahead and pop these two since they're eight minutes long. All right, so those are done. Food on the bar. So regeneration, we don't need our axe. And then we're not going to need rockets either, so we'll put instant health. Uh, right there and then I'll put the other regeneration right here. I think that's all we're gonna need Maybe a bucket of milk would be good so we can get rid of the um, The tick damage the wither, but honestly, I don't really think that's gonna be that big of a deal uh, So let's just go ahead and do this So I'll do the wither boss boop boop boop. All right, here we go withering heights uh, I want the bow in the offhand and that should be far enough away that I don't think we're going to see the explosion hit us. Maybe? Yeah, we're fine. Alright, so we'll just use our bow until we get to 50%. Alright, almost there, almost there. I'll go ahead and use the regeneration now since we've got to be up close to it. Alright, doing good, doing good. It hasn't even touched us once. Easy, easy. Okay, now uh, there's a star. I was like, where did it go? I know it's in here somewhere. So yeah, we started back here and the wither boss was able to go, oh, roughly 20 blocks. Yeah, I think that tunnel was just fine. Uh, is this the most fun way to fight the boss? No, but it definitely is the most efficient uh, without going to the nether and trying to find one of those bedrock areas where you push its head into the ceiling. Yeah, anyway, I'm pretty happy with that. So now that we have this, we can look at forming ourselves a beacon. Whew. All right, so we got ourselves a beacon made. It's just three obsidian, the nether star, and then five glass. No big deal. Uh, I'm pretty sure, it's been a while since I last set these up, but I'm pretty sure the very bottom layer is a 9x9, nine nine, so you're going to need 81 blocks. So that's 80 plus 1, so there's our 81 blocks. And then I think the next layer up is a 7x7, which is 49, then a 5x5, five five, which is 25, and then a 3x3, three three, which is 9. So I think we have all the blocks together that we need in order to build this thing. Uh, so I'm here back in the abandoned mineshaft area that we saw uh, earlier. Yeah, I figure I'm pretty much just wanting stone. There's nothing in particular that I need to ex like uh, excavate out, but I want stone. And this place is already pretty big and tore up and things like that. So I figure I'm just going to go ahead and build it here. Now, right above me, I have access to the sky. 
And I think the beacon last time I remember, like you can go out about 40 blocks away from it. Is that right? Maybe. Anyway, we're at Y20, so at this level, it should pretty much extend all the way down to bedrock, and then uh, I think that it goes along the beam, so all the way up should be fine. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start laying out this thing. <laughs> yeah, so right here, let's see, let me just double check. Yeah, so this block that I'm on right here has sky access, so that's going to be the 9x9, and then it'll be the 7x7, That'll be the five by five, then the three by three, and then we'll put the beacon on top of that, and that should be the height of the beacon, if I remember correctly. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing built, and hopefully we get it going. Okay, well, looks like that is correct. I don't actually have the effects on, but this thing makes a crazy sound when you turn it on. Can I break this thing? Let's see. Okay, so it makes a sound when it turns off, and then when you put it on a full beacon, that's kind of cool. Uh, so when you activate it, does it give you anything? I wonder. So we'll put regeneration haste on, I think. We'll give it that. Turn that. Oh, yeah. Okay. So now we got haste and we got regeneration. So we should not be able to instant mine stone yet. I do believe we need to have efficiency five, which we don't have. Does uh, soak touch make a difference if I'm using non-soak touch? No. Okay. So we need to go get ourselves another efficiency boost on our picks, and then we should be able to instant mine and start collecting all of the blocks. So I'm going to go ahead and sleep because it is nighttime. I will sleep, uh, and then we'll go look if we can get some efficiency four books. Uh, I think we should just enchant for it. I did some enchanting earlier to get rid of those extra levels that we have, but I don't think we ever got... I th Actually, you know what? I think we did have one efficiency four book. But I don't think we got another one. So anyway, I'm going to continue to do some stuff here, and we'll be right back. Yeah, so we already had an Efficiency 4 book, so we can up one of our picks to Efficiency 5, and I don't think we had another one. We have a Protection 4 Respiration. I actually had two Respirations. Uh, when I was spending my levels earlier, I put Respiration on our helmet here. So yeah, we have that now. Uh, unbreaking, unbreaking, fortune, power, power. Okay, so we do need to get ourselves another efficiency four. So we put a book in here, we get efficiency three, not quite what we we're looking for. So I'm just going to go ahead and burn through enchantments, I think, spend some time here at our mob farm, see if we can get efficiency four, and we will, oh, look at that, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, so we got efficiency five now on both of our picks with the haste. Actually, do you have to have haste too? Now I can't remember. Maybe we need haste too. We can't have the regeneration. Okay, so let's turn this off. And then we will do that. It's been a long time since I've done this, guys. So we want haste two and haste. Then we do that. There we go. There we go. So now we're able to instant mine. Oh my goodness. So I know cobblestone isn't the greatest thing in the world, but we don't have a lot of blocks, guys. In order for us to like do any building, we have to have blocks. So this just now opened up the ability for us to mine a whole lot of stuff. Yeah, and then we can start actually upgrading our building. So like, for instance, our mob farm that we've been using over there, while it works and, you know, it hasn't let us down yet, I mean, it, it's made out of cobblestone, right? Uh, yeah, we don't really want all of our buildings made out of cobblestone. And it could also be upgraded. Like, we built that thing, I think, on the first episode, or was it the second one? Yeah, we could definitely upgrade that mob farm and make it better. We could do, like, a mob flushing farm. It doesn't necessarily have to be, uh, the mobs walking off by themselves, so we can make it way more faster. Uh, then we could also set up another farm specifically for creepers if we wanted to do that, so we could farm gunpowder. But anyway... Uh, the point is, now that we have the ability to mine blocks, yeah, a lot of things, as far as building structures like that, it's going to be way more easy. So what I'm going to end up doing is farming a whole lot of cobblestone here. I definitely want uh, blocks and blocks, loads of them, so we can do whatever building that we want. I'm also going to farm a whole lot of smooth stone, so we don't have to worry about smelting it. Yeah, pretty much, well, maybe I want to do more smooth stone than cobblestone, but... The cobblestone, definitely, there's certain items that require us to have cobblestone, like pistons or whatever. So it makes sense to just have large amounts of that. Um, did I really only mine that much stuff? What the heck? I thought I just picked up a whole bunch of blocks. <laughs> I 
I feel like I mined way more than what I just picked up. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, maybe, maybe that's it. Maybe I was just mining a whole bunch of andesite there. I don't know. But anyway, uh, now that we have the ability to <laughs> get all these blocks, yeah, uh, upgrading things, building more extravagant things, that's definitely something that I'm looking forward to doing. But anyway, guys, we're going to go ahead and call it here. Yes, getting ourselves our first weather boss fight success, getting our very first beacon. That's pretty cool. I would like to be able to recover our iron and our gold so we can use those for other things and replace the beacon with emerald. So we might look at setting up some kind of a uh, pretty good villager trading system here pretty soon as well. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you liked it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.